What you are about to see is bizarre, unsettling, and riveting. This is Officer Don Nuts for another edition of Safety First. And hey, today we're going to be talking about railroad safety. And joining me is one of the professionals from Progressive Rail, David. How are you doing today, David? I'm doing good, Don. Hey, now the railroad tracks and crossings can be a dangerous place, can't they, David? What do we need to know to keep safe around them? Yes, they can. Trains and railways are really cool places to visit, but you should always be under adult supervision anytime you're going to be near a railway track, and you should never, ever walk on the railway tracks. You should never walk around the railway tracks to climb on parked cars or get anywhere near the railway without your parents with you. Oh, that's uh, some very good tips to remember. Now, now, the one thing that I'm concerned about is there's a lot of railroad crossings here in the city of Lakeville, and, uh, you know, I've always wondered how fast can a train stop? I mean, can they stop really quick like a car or like a bike? That's a good question, Don. Trains cannot stop very quickly. Trains have shiny steel wheels and they're traveling on a slick steel surface. So the trains take quite a long time to stop once they apply their brakes. If you happen to step out in front of a train moving at 10 or 15 miles an hour, the train would not be able to stop in the same amount of time that a car or a truck would. So trains take quite a longer time to stop than, than an automobile. Very good. Well, you guys have been very helpful with us today. We actually have a train, and we're going to see how long it does take for a train to stop. Are we ready to do it, David? I think we're ready. All right, let's call him on the walkie-talkie and get this demonstration going. All right. Lawrence to PGR 37, over. All right, Jack, you can move forward. We're flagging the crossing for you. And uh, once you get up to the cross buck signs, put on your brakes like you had to stop in an emergency situation. He's doing the whistle and bell. He's going to do the whistle and bell. He's going to do the whistle and bell. Here he comes. Ah! Goodness gracious, David. How long did that train take to stop? No, oh, it took about six or seven seconds, and the train wasn't going very fast. If the train was going 10 or 15 miles an hour with a lot of freight behind it, it would have slid right through the crossing, and there's no way it would have stopped for you if you were on the crossing in a car or bicycle. Well, great, David. Any other uh, safety tips you want to let us know before we uh, wrap up this little segment? The only thing that I can tell you is trains are neat to look at. Trains are very cool, but you should never be around the trucks. Very good. Well, thank you so much for your time today, David, and giving us these safety tips. And we'll see you next time, everybody, on Safety First. <laughs> Glad I didn't end up under those uh, rail wheels. I would have ended up creamy peanut butter. That's <laughs> right. No crunchy at all. No. Thanks, David. Bye.